I'm going to give a very broad best management practice, but I think it fits for virtually every turf grass situation. A height of cut has a massive influence on the depth of the roots. The lower you cut the height of cut, the, the shorter the roots are. The higher you let the turf grass grow, the deeper the turf grass roots grow. So in my opinion, the best management practice for height of cut is to cut the turf grass as high as possible. That would also result in the acceptable turf grass to the client. So for a putting green, I would cut it as high as possible such that the golfers find it acceptable. So if it's acceptable at 90 on a putting green and it's not acceptable at 100, then keep it at 90. But if it's acceptable at 100 or it's acceptable at 110, then move it up to 100 or 110 as long as it's acceptable to the golfers. Same thing with homeowners. If fescue is acceptable at 3, but it's not acceptable at 2.5 inches, then leave it at 3. But if it's acceptable at 4, then cut it at 4. Um, but think about it from a broader perspective. The height of cut is going to greatly influence the depth of the roots, and the depth of the roots is going to influence the amount of nutrients in the soil that the turf grass has access to harvest nutrients from and access to harvest water from. Okay, so keeping these, this turf grass cut super, super low, if it's necessary to for have acceptable turf, then do it. If it's not, then raise your height of cut as, as high as you can that would result in acceptable turf.